I'm in Surfers Paradise and let's go for a tour today. Surfers Paradise is situated in the middle of the east coast of Australia and as always I suggest you to come in Australia in the summer when is Christmas here. It is the sixth largest city in Australia and it is renowned for its patrol beaches Vibrant Cavill Avenue and Skyscraper Skyline, viewed from 77 floors above. The modern foreshore is bursting throughout the day. Take advantage of this beach from Boulevard Vista, overlooking the surf and sand. Here, you feel like in Miami, where the tall skyscrapers are just in front of the beach. Fantastic! And in front of the beach, you will find a lot of bars, restaurants. And shops, which are selling surfboards, surf suits, and of course UDG boots. And then in the night you can have fun in a nice club. out for the night market you can't believe but they even opened the oyster for you but this time not for eating but to discover the nice pearl for you moreover in surfers paradise there is the major film industry a diverse range of productions have contributed to making the gold coast local hollywood since 1988 among these is Chronicles of Narnia, Peter Pan, Scooby-Doo, Mission Impossible, and the last movie, Aquaman. And as you can imagine, here are running lots of money, and it's quite a rich place. You will have a lot of nice cars around, beautiful hotels, This is the Palazzo Versace and here it was filmed the UK television series I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here!
Behind these hotels, there are of course a lot of yachts. And it's a pleasure to sail here, because this city is like Venice. It has huge amount of canals. Where you can have a nice ride among beautiful houses, nature. You can see also some kangaroos. To continue our adventure, the Gold Coast 600 is a car racing event held annually, usually in October. The course runs through the streets of Service Paradise and Main Beach. However, you can see here a lot of nice and luxurious cars throughout the year. And now I'm going to surprise you with this gorgeous shopping Santa. It is called Pacific Fair, in the name of the Pacific Ocean that is close to it. It is one of the most beautiful ones that I have ever seen. Most of it is open with a sky view and has plenty of fountains, pools, gorgeous relaxation areas, that are surrounded by the best shops, sometimes unconventional. And in some, you might be lucky to be offered a glass of champagne. And if you are more a nature person, there are some bush folks as well. There are two major rainforests, that is Tambourine and Springbrook just one hour distance from the city. Tambourine is popular for wine and beer tasting which you can enjoy with some cheese or salami if you like. Moreover, a friend of mine brought me to this paradisiac place where you can taste delicious Polish dishes with amazing view on the valley and make this kind and playful colorful birds. Another must to do in Gold Coast is Tropical Fruit World. We climbed aboard the tractor train and explored the plantation of delicious fruits from all around the world. And every season brings exotic, unusual and delicious fruit varieties to discover. So we'll visit Animal Park with emu, kangaroo and farm animal friends. And you will enjoy the boat cruise through the Bushland Valley in the heart of the farm.
and to finish, I definitely recommend you to visit Byron Bay. That is the most eastern part of Australia, famous for its lighthouse and sunrise. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my video and see you in the next video.